Hello, welcome to this YouTube channel. Today, I'm going to show you how to prepare a pivot table in Google Sheets. I've done videos on Excel and a lot of, I have two videos on pivot tables. One is taking you through the basics in Excel, so preparing a pivot table. And the other one is about the different tips and tricks that you can use in Excel for a pivot table. Today, I'm going to show you how to do a pivot table in Google Sheets. After we've done the pivot table, how can we filter that data depending on our needs? So to do that, I have a data set here, which has region, country, cells, and year. So I'm going to use this information to prepare my pivot table. So what do I do? I highlight my data, then, I go to insert, move down to pivot table, click on that. We have a dialog which appears here. It says data range, I selected it correctly. Insert to new sheet, existing sheet. It's asking us, do we want it on this sheet or do we want it in, on an existing sheet or a new sheet? So for my case, to have enough room, I'm going to say, have it on a new sheet. So you say, okay, it creates a new sheet, labels it, pivot table one, draws a table here and opens a dialog on my right, which is called the pivot table editor. So when we go through this, on top here, we have our data range, which is on sheet one, properly identified. I have no problem with that. Then it comes here and makes some suggestions that you can explore. Average says for each country. See, when I click there, it gives me an average cell for each of the countries. Number of unique country for each region. Okay, it gives me that. So in quick steps, it gives you these highlights here. But on top here, I see insert pivot table. If you are interested in what it has given you, I do believe when you click here, you'll insert this pivot table. But that's not what I want. I want to show you how we can create it from scratch, from zero. Now, below here, we have rows. What do we want our rows to be? So we select here, uh, my first rows I want to be is the region. If I want more information under the rows, I can come back here, but I'll come back to this later. Columns for now, let me leave that. The values in my data cells, these are cells. This is the cells as my values. So I go to values, click there, it opens this dialog, and I say my values are cells. So once I do that, you can see it has created, let me expand this for better view. You can see it has created a pivot table. Let's create more room there. So this way I've created a pivot table. Now, the next thing I'm gonna do is bring in the country below the region, and this is a similar example I did in Excel. So I can come here under rows, now I select country. When I do that, you can see I have region and the country and the sales for each country and the total for each of the regions. That's how it has done it. So in quick steps, this is how you can prepare a pivot table in Excel. Now, for now, let me first close this. Next, I want to insert a filter on this pivot table. And this filter is going to be by the region. I I I'm going to create a drop down here. So let me first create that. And I insert. No, sorry, and uh, data, I go to data validation. 
and uh, I can select it from a range, but in this case, I'm going to just type it. So I'll say Africa, comma, Europe, comma, Asia, comma, America, like so. Reject input so that people don't type in whatever they want. So when I do that, I have a filter here, which I'm going to use to filter my pivot table. Currently, it's doing nothing, but I'm going to use it in a while to filter the data here. So the next step I'm going to do is I need to come back to my fields. When you click on the pivot table, it brings this item here called edit. When you click on edit, opens this pivot table editor. Now, what we want to add is a filter. Down here, we have filters. So when I click on add, it gives me the different options by which I can filter my data. I have region, country, sales, and year. So in my case, I'm going to use the region. And when I click there, show all items. That's the default. Uh, first of all, before I do this, I need to know which cell I'm going to refer to. My cell is E1. Having known that, let's go back to our editor and filter, show all items. Let's click there. I want to filter by a condition, none currently. Let's make it, if I go down, I want to use a formula and my formula is going to be typed in here. So I'm going to say equals, I'm going to filter by region. So I can say region equals to the value that is in E1. That is the cell reference that I got. Another important item to note is that if I have a space in my name, and I need to put co commas, sorry, quotation marks around my name. So having done this, I think I'm done with the filter. I come down here and say, Okay, now immediately I do that because Africa was shown here, you can see it has filtered by Africa. I can come back here and filter by Europe, then go down, filter by Asia, then go down, filter by America. Now having done this, you may ask, what if I want to bring back all the items? How do I go about that? I can add that all under my filter so that when I click on all, then we have the full table display. So to do that, I'll need to go back to my data validation and change my dropdown to include the all. So I go to data, data validation. So I'm going to add another item called all. Comma and say, okay. So right now I have this option all. I have Africa, which brings Africa. Then I have America like so. Currently, the all is not giving me what I want. What I want is when I've clicked on all, it displays all the regions. So let's go back to our pivot table editor and modify our filter. Click on this filter. This is my drop down. If E1 is equal to all, I want to return true. 
And what the truth does is that it brings all, it does not filter and returns all the values. Else, I'll say region equals E1. Close parenthesis. Having done that, I'll say, okay. Now let's test it and see whether it works. Currently, it's working for Africa. Good for Europe. Let's test all. Wonderful. Now, if we put all, all the countries and regions appear. So that is how you can do a, create a pivot table, put a filter that can filter all the data or specific data in Google Sheets. I hope this has been helpful. Please subscribe if you're interested in more videos like this and have a great day. Thank you.